uh, <laughs> we are live from the quarantine. And uh, guys, it is the first day of May. It, that's shocking to me. I don't know about you guys, but um, even though we're we're gonna we're gonna uh, uh, we're in the this new month, uh, I'm gonna just finish up our last month as far as our story is concerned with uh, talking about my takeaway um, from from that month, which is um, uh, when we we're talking about everyday heroes, right? And to me, an everyday hero is just somebody who takes time to connect with another human being. Now, yesterday, I was, I was on a very, very long walk, and um, I was walking from downtown, so I was going over the Hawthorne Bridge back over to the dojo. And um, like I had this mask on, and uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Tyra Banks, but Tyra Banks, I think she coined the, uh, the phrase smize, which is smile with your eyes. So I'm like through my mask as I'm passing other human beings, I'm trying to smize, you know, and trying to like, like give them a good smile. And then somebody just waved at me, and they were just like, like six feet away from me, but they just waved. And I was like, yeah, that's what we need to do. We just need to wave at each other, even if we're you know, really close to each other, just to feel that sense of connection. And um, I don't know if you saw my, uh, my Instagram post, because I rarely ever post on Instagram, but uh, um, Josh and I went over to the post office to pick up these masks that Miranda had made for us. And we're standing in line at the post office. There's quite a long line. and. Um, um, one of our um, old warriors who had moved away, she went to grad, she moved away to grad school, I think it was in like uh, December or January. Um, we called her yesterday or on, when we were in the post office to wish her a happy birthday. And so she picks up the phone and we sing happy birthday to her. And um, when we were done, everybody in the post office turned around and they clapped. And it was like, like in my mind, as we're singing it, I'm like, oh my God, I just don't want to annoy these people with happy birthday song, you know? But um, I think everybody just needs that feeling of connection at this point, you know? And it was like, like, like everybody like stopped and like turned and they were like, <laughs> thank you, you know? Like, and it was like such, such a sweet moment, you know? So, and I'm not saying that Josh and I, like, we didn't save anybody in the post office at that time. Nobody was on fire, like, nothing like that, you know? But maybe that little moment kind of helps somebody get through, get through their day, you know? I know that whoever waved at me on the Hawthorne Bridge as I was walking by them had a huge impact on me. It felt, it felt really, really nice to connect like that, you know? So anyway, we're gonna get into this awesome 10 to one pyramid but um, first, if you need to get your equipment set up, um, this is going to be actually all body weight exercises. So, um, and uh, except if you needed an elevated surface for push-ups, um, that would be that would be it. You know, so um, this is going to be this is going to be a really good one, and um, we're going to get after it. Get our stretches on. So, guys, we're going to start with our cat cow. Let's get those let's get those backs and shoulders all nice and warmed up. I'm in this quadruped position tucking that pelvis under as I start with my tailbone, working all the way up through my vertebrae as I pull up out of my thoracic spine. So pretend like there's a little thread here in the middle of your shoulder blades pulling you up to the ceiling. Now take it back the other way and I want you to lead with that pelvis, lead with that tailbone, bringing that belly down, dropping, that, dropping your back, arching it, getting that head up. We're gonna go back the other way Back into our cat. And going into our cow. Ah, getting that really, really nice stretch through those shoulders as you're bringing those shoulder blades together. Let's do one more. And bringing it back the other way. Great job. All right. Now guys, we are gonna go into our shin box. So this time, let's actually try to do our shin box with a transition. So what that means is I'm gonna have this leg out in front of me, I'm gonna have this knee touching my, my, um, my foot, and then, actually, I should start this way so I keep facing you guys, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my feet together, in the, uh, I'm gonna bring my feet down to the ground, and then I'm gonna switch it out to the other side. So you see I'm really facing this other wall right now, and I'm trying to stay as upright as possible. If I need to, I can put my hands behind me or I can keep my hands up, but I'm really trying hard 
to keep that back straight. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of a stretch in this. So I'm going to keep my back flat and I'm going to bring my chest down to my leg. And what I'm trying to do is point that belly button over this leg, all right, right in line with my knee. Coming back up, switch it out, go to the other side. Again, I'm pointing that belly button over that knee. I'm coming down. I'm not curving my back, right? I'm keeping it flat, bending forward. Ooh, yeah. Guys, I am feeling that on this outer thigh. Let's do one more time on each side. Whoo. Switching it out. Oh, fold it over. And back up. All right. So guys, let's go into our Cossack stretch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be on this knee, bringing my foot directly out from my hip. I'm going to rock it forward and back. I'm going to rock it forward and back. Let's go ahead and do 10 times on that side. Real, real slight movements, being real gentle with those, with those wrists. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a leg lift. So I want to do five lifts where I'm keeping my hips as level as possible. Really feel this in that glute. Raise and lower that leg five times. All right. Switch it out to the other side. Going back into my Cossack stretch. So what I'm trying to do is bringing that butt back to that heel and back up. Butt back to that heel. Doing this about 10 times. Feeling that nice stretch at the bottom when I'm connecting my butt to that heel. All right, now doing that leg lift five times. Guys, give me a nice pause at the top. Three, four, and five. All right, next guys, we're gonna go into our lat stretch. So I'm gonna sit back on my heels. I'm gonna put my hands on the ground. I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna reach it through my left arm. And I'm trying to get this shoulder to touch the ground as I bring that arm through, using this hand to push me back onto my heels with my butt. I'm gonna hold it here for a second, getting a nice stretch. All right, now I'm gonna take it to the other side, taking that arm through, coming down. Ooh, it's got some nice cracks going on in my neck. Yeah. Whew. Breathing into it, using this other arm to push myself back, my butt back into those heels. Breathing into it. Let's go one more time on each side. Feels really, really good. Getting my shoulder to loosen up. Feeling a nice stretch in my obliques. All right. Let's go to the other side. Let's breathe into it and out. All right. So guys, next we're going to go into our wrist stretch. So what I want to have you do is I'm going to have you turn your hands into you. Now, Reba, if this is a little too hard on your wrists, I'm just going to have you do these wrist circles. All right. So just be real gentle with those wrists. But for everybody else, I want you to go ahead, turn those hands into you, and then you're just going to rock forward and rock back. We have been really, really hard on our wrists over this stay at home situation how much time we have been on our computers. So let's give them some lovin's. Yeah, let's bring it back around. There we go. Great job, guys. All right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to put away our mats, get them out of the way. And we're going to go through each of the exercises 
in our circuit so that we can get familiar with them and that's going to be part of our warm up before we actually go into the circuit. So we're going to do a 10 to 1 pyramid and we have these five exercises that we're going to do. So we got our lateral lunge walk arounds. So for my lateral lunge walk around, I want to come into this deep lunge, pulling that butt to that back wall. I'm going to put my hands next to my foot. I'm going to walk my hands out. I'm going to come out into this high plank, keeping my butt at the same level as my shoulders. I'm going to come back in to this side. All right. So guys, go ahead and give me five on each side for this warm up. Now, when you're doing this, make sure you're not in this A frame position with it. I want you to go into this deep lunge where this butt is being pulled back. All right. And then when you come out into this high plank, your butt is down again. It's at the same level as your shoulders. Don't push it back onto those on like into this uh, almost like downward dog position. Okay. Come back in. Go ahead. Give me five on each side. It's three. This is four. Ah, feeling this in my arms. All right. Now, guys, we're going to do our power lunges. So, if you're in a situation where you're in an apartment and you don't want to make a lot of noise with this because we're going to be jumping, then go ahead and just do regular lunges and that's fine. All right. So for my, for my regular lunge, you can either do a forward lunge and back, forward lunge and back. If you have any knee issues, you can always do a reverse lunge, all right? Step back up, reverse lunge, step back up. Or if you're going to do a power lunge, what you're going to do is we're going to come into that lunge. We're going to switch it out. We're going to come back into this lunge as I fall over. All right, switching it out. Maybe if I don't look at you guys, I won't fall over. <laughs> All right. So if you're able to do the power lunge, fantastic. Go ahead and switch out those legs as you power up out of it. If not, just a regular lunge is fine. All right. So go ahead and give me five on each side. Whichever variation you are doing. That's true. Yeah, so Josh just mentioned warming up with maybe just some regular lunges. And then if you want to upgrade with it, fantastic. You can go into the power lunges then. All right, now I have my dead bugs. So. I'm going to be laying on my back. I'm going to keep this lower back into the ground. Now I can either have my legs bent at a 90 degree angle or I can have them straight up in the air. Whenever you come back to center, I want your arms and your legs up at the same time. All right. Now you're going to switch it out. So you're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg. The, the opposite arm, opposite leg are coming down to the ground, coming back up, switch it out. Coming back up. So this is a little bit of a coordination test. All right, now for me, the way I remember it is I try to touch this hand to this leg. That's my opposite arm, opposite leg. All right, makes it a little bit easier for me to remember. All right, guys, go ahead and give me five on each side. Now again, my, my neck isn't up, my shoulders aren't off the ground. My back is flat to the ground as I'm switching this out. Again, if you want, you can do it this way. For me, for some reason, the bent leg is a little harder to remember. Some people find this a little bit easier. All right, now we have our push-ups. So if you're doing a strict push-up or you're doing a push-up from an elevated surface, the form is the same. I want you to make sure that you're keeping those elbows either in tight or out at a 45. Don't go beyond that, all right? I'm trying to keep those lats really engaged. If you're on the floor, I want you to push slightly over those wrists and I want your butt at the same height as your shoulders. Again, guys, if you lose your, if you lose your hips, you've lost your abs, all right? So I wanna keep everything intact. I want you to keep those feet together, knees together. Come all the way down to the floor and up, all the way down to the floor and up. 
you're doing it from an elevated surface, same thing, coming all the way down and up, all the way down and up. You are one solid unit as you lower yourself. The breathing for this is you wanna exhale yourself away from the floor. You're almost breathing yourself away, all right? So go ahead and give me 10 of those, whichever version you're doing. Ah. Woo! Feeling that this morning, that's for sure. All right. Now, guys, we have our tripod sit-outs. So for my tripod sit-outs, I'm gonna start off in this position where I'm in this quadruped position and my knees are slightly elevated off the ground. Again, I'm not gonna have my butt up in the air. I'm not gonna push back on those shoulders. I wanna be directly over my wrist and then I'm gonna kick out. So the same leg as arm is going to kick forward. That foot plants and then I bring my hips up to the ceiling. I come back down. I come in, I'm kicking out planting that foot, bringing that hip up, coming back down. So guys, as I'm doing these tripod sit outs, what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I keep this hip close to that hand. All right, so see how close my hand is to my hip? I'm not coming out here like this. All right, kick it out, bring it in. Both feet are flat on the ground at this point, coming back down, knees in close to wrists, kick it out. Give me five on each side for this, all right? Okay. Now guys, I want you to think about bringing this hip, same hip as, as hand that's on the ground. That's the hip I really want you to extend up. Woo! Feeling this, yeah. Ha ha. All right. Guys, what I'm gonna have you do now? Well, that is all the exercises in this circuit, okay? So we're gonna do a 10 to one pyramid. So what that's gonna mean is, we're gonna go through each of these five exercises. We're gonna do 10 of each. Now when I say 10, if we're doing ones like lateral lunge walk arounds, that's actually gonna be 10 on each side, all right? Same thing with the power lunges, same thing with the dead bugs, same thing with the tripod sit outs. So the push-ups are the only ones that we're not doing bilaterally. So we're gonna set the timer for 20 minutes. Our first round, it'll be 10 of everything Second round, it's gonna be nine of everything. Third round, eight of everything. And we're gonna see how far we can get in this pyramid when the timer runs out, okay? So, I'm gonna have you start by grabbing some water first. Okay, so, we're gonna start with those lateral lunge walk arounds. Okay, coming into this deep lunge, hands next to foot, walking it out and back in, out, and back in. That's one. Get that butt down. Or at the same level as your shoulders. That's two. This is three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Excellent work, Brenda. Good job, Heather. Nice for Nine. Good work, Sarah. 
And 10. Guys, next, we're going into our power lunges. All right? So again, you can either do your forward lunge, your reverse lunge, or you can switch it up in the middle, all right? So I'm gonna try to do this without falling over. Oh, that's one. That's two. That's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Woo! That's a burner. Yeah, it is. Next, guys, we're going to go into our dead bugs. So my back is flat on the ground. Switching it out. Opposite arm. Opposite leg. Two. That's three. Four. Five. Six. Guys, really, really think about pushing that lower back into the ground. Getting those arm, that arm and that leg really straight. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Woo! All right. Now we have our push ups. So go to your elevated surface or from the ground, whichever way you're doing it. Give me 10. Just make sure you get that full range of motion, guys. Make sure you touch that chest to whatever surface. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Woo! Nine. And 10. Yay. Tripod sit out. Hands in, close to my feet. Kicking out, coming up. Sorry, knees in close to feet. <laughs> Kick it out, come up. It's one. This is two. That's three. You see how you guys are doing? Nice, Stila. Good job. So Reba at the top. Yeah, there you go. Really push those feet, those that hips up into the ceiling. There you go. Yeah, guys, don't forget to get those feet flat on the ground. I love Brenda's jungle scene with her grass. All right. I'm guessing you're maybe on six. Kick it out. Eight. Nine. And ha ha. Ten. All right, guys. You can rest as much as you need to with this. The next round that we're gonna do, we're gonna do nine of everything, all right? So, I think for me, I was struggling with my form for those power lunges. We wanna really make sure, regardless of whatever lunge we're doing, to get that knee about an inch off the ground, okay? I'm not going super long with this either. Staying in tight to make, get as much power as possible. So I think for my next round, I'm actually just gonna do regular lunges. I may wait till I get down lower in the pyramid before I do those power lunges. All right, so I'm gonna grab some water and then we get back into it. All right, so to do 10 of everything, that took us about six minutes. So obviously each time we do this, it's gonna be less and less time with less and less reps, right? 
So lateral lunge walk arounds. That's one. Two. That's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Awesome. All right. Now we have our power lunges, our regular lunges. Like I said, I'm just gonna go into my regular lunges. I'm doing forward right now. All that weight is going into that lead leg and it's my lead leg that's pushing me back. All right. It's four. It's five. Six. Now, you want to make these a little harder. You can grab dumbbells in either hand, or you can hold it as a goblet or a kettlebell. All right. Eight. And nine. Just nine this round. All right. Now I'm going to my dead bugs. All right. Either bent leg or straight leg. Just always start with all four arms and legs up at the top together. It's two. This is four. Make sure you get that stretch, guys. I want you to take your time with this. Seven. Eight. And nine. Going into our push-ups. All right. Everything's together, everything's on. Coming all the way down and up, all the way down and up. Go ahead and give me nine. Nice job, Heather. Uh, Brenda, those look great. Those look great. Yeah, just keep that butt up, Brenda. Don't let, that, don't let your abs fail. Nice job, guys. All right, nine of those, All right? <laughs> All right, now we're going to go into our tripod sit outs. So, hands in, sorry, knees in close to hands. Kick it out. Both feet are flat as I come up into this tripod. Yeah? Two. Three. Four, uh, five, six. Make sure to reset in the middle. All right, making sure to get those knees in close to those hands, not letting that butt come up. Seven. Eight, nine, awesome, all right, whoo, guys, we're just using our bodies, we're not even using any resistance, I'm feeling it, how about you, whoo, grabbing some water, getting just a few moments of rest, 
All right, going back into our walk arounds. Full plank at the top here. Is it? Yeah. There's a name for it, I don't know what it's called. But it's a good idea. Four, Josh was just saying that this is a yoga move. Just not sure what it's called. Five, guys, this time we're doing eight of everything. Six. Seven. And eight. Get that nice deep stretch, guys, when you're in this kind of Cossack position. All right. Then we have our either our power lunges or our regular lunges. Coming in. All right. Making sure to get that knee about an inch off the ground. Eight on each side. This is four. I'm gonna mix it up with a few of the power lunges. Ha! Really powering up out of it. Ah, wow. Now we got our dead bugs. Thank God for dead bugs. All right, that sounded weird. Okay, switch it out. Keeping those hands and feet up in the air at the same time, then switch it out. Eight guys. Keep that lower back pushed into the ground. Six. Seven and eight. Yay. All right. Going into our push ups. Maybe you started off doing a strict push up. Maybe your form is wavering. That's okay. You can go then to an elevated surface. No harm, no foul, guys. Just make sure. You maintain that form. Five, six, seven, eight. Ha ha. Nice. All right. Now we have our tripod sit outs. Whoo. All right. Starting in this quadruped position. Knees are slightly elevated. Kick it out. Feet are flat. Come back in. One. Three. So you think I missed one? Seven, and ha ha, eight, woo, ha ha. Guys, we have four minutes left. All right, so if you're doing this workout later, our YouTube peoples, you can go faster than me. You can go slower than me. Whatever you need to do, just try to keep the timer set for 20 minutes and go through it as many times as you can. But when the 20 minutes is done, you're out, all right? So I'm on my seventh round of my pyramid. Going into those walk arounds. <sighs> Seven walk arounds, guys. 
Nice, Reba. Looks beautiful. Great job, Heather. Butt is on the same level as your shoulders. When you're coming out in that high plank, All right, guys, then we're going into our power lunges or our regular lunges. So again, you can either do your forward lunge or you can do your reverse lunge, all right? Or you can do your power lunge where you're switching it out midair, powering up, trying to get as vertical as possible with this, all right? Hua, ha, 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 ha. If you got weights, you can also use your weights. It's up to you. Seven guys for this round. All right. Next, we got our dead bugs. Dead bugs. Woo hoo! Switching it out and in, switching it out. I like to keep my feet dorsal flexed with this. I feel like I maintain a nice tension through my legs when I do that. All right, guys, seven, five, six, and seven. Going into my push ups. Yeah. Again, guys, push-ups. You're just lifting 65% of your body weight when you're doing a strict push-up. So if you're able to, as you do these, if you're able to get lower and lower with your surfaces, if you have that option at home, that would be great. Maybe you start off at a, at a countertop. Maybe you then move down to a high stool. Maybe move down to a chair, all right? Trying to get lower and lower to the ground. Okay, we got our push-ups, then we got our tripod sit-outs. Kicking it out, feet flat. When I'm in my tripod, coming back in, up. All right, just seven, guys. Whoo. All right. Four, five, six, seven. Awesome. Woo. We got six seconds left. <laughs> hey, let's uh, go ahead and grab our mats. Let's do uh, a few ab exercises. We're going to do a little ab finisher. It's going to be super fun. All right. Maybe first grab some water. Catch your breath. Guys, I want to start with my X crunch as far as my first ab exercise. So what we're going to do, arms, our arms and our legs are going to be out in this X formation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up. I'm going to try to touch those toes and come back down. All right, let's do these 10 times. Three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice. All right, guys. Next, we're gonna do our penguins. So, trying to get my feet in close to my butt. And then, I'm just gonna be lifted up on my shoulders. I'm gonna reach down my foot, reach down my foot as far as possible. Guys, I want you to really squeeze the oblique of the side that you're reaching down, and I want you to extend it on the opposite side. 
So go ahead and give me 10 on each side. Eight, nine, and 10. Good job. So now that we're laying here, what I want you to do is have your thighs be at a 90 degree angle to the ground. This part of your leg is going to be at a 45 degree angle. What you're gonna do is toe touches. So you're gonna reach up and come back down. Reach up and come back down. Getting those shoulder blades off the ground, all right? So go ahead, give me 10 of those. Eight, nine, and 10, nice. Guys, let's flip it over. What I wanna do now is I wanna do a plank march. So I'm gonna be on my forearms. My shoulders are gonna be over my elbows. I'm gonna have my feet wide, and then I'm gonna lift that leg up and down. Switch it out to the other side. Really feel that glute squeeze. We're not trying to get height with this. We're trying to get that glute to really activate. All right? Try not to have that butt come up into the air and push back on those shoulders. Make sure to keep those shoulders over those elbows. Go ahead, give me 10 on each side. Guys, when you're doing this, be gentle with those toes. Don't go slamming those feet into the ground, all right? It's a march, it's not a slam. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Guys, let's do one more round of each of those exercises. So we're gonna start with our X crunches again. All right, coming up. Touch those toes, get that nice little stretch at the top here. Ugh. Four. Ugh. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ha ha. Ten. Beautiful. All right. Go ahead, get into your penguin position. Penguin power. All right. Feeding close to the butt. Reach down as far down that foot as you can. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight nine and 10. All right, coming into our toe touch position. So this part of my leg is straight, is vertical. This part of my leg is at a 45 degree angle. Reaching up, getting those shoulder blades off the ground. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and 10. Awesome. Plank marches. Yeah. Let's do the thing. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, ha-ha, nine, and 10. Yeah. Let's grab some water, guys. We're gonna go right into our homework. Ha, for the month of May, we will have new homework, but just pretend like we're finishing out the month of April right now with our 20 bodyweight squats. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me ten more. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, let's go into our knee grabs. I love how Brenda's working out in her backyard, and every time she switches her phone, it's a Another beautiful, beautiful angle <laughs> of her outside. So good. All right, 10 of these guys, 10 knee grabs. Three, four. Get those feet flat on the, on the floor at the top. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Nine, ten. Guys, always finish on the down so you don't do a half of a knee grab, all right? Then, going into our swimmers, our good posture makers, yeah? All right, get those shoelaces pushed into the ground. Splay out those fingertips. Come in, lift up, come out. Come in, lift up, and out. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me ten more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Whoo! We did it! You did it! What a great way to spend some time on a fry yay! Hello, May. So, guys, theme of the last month was just getting being an everyday hero. The actual story of the day was about this, um, this couple who witnessed a car accident and the car was on fire. The guy went over, he ran into a burning car, saved all the people in the car. One of the people had a, a really intense laceration. I won't go into the details on that, but because the guy um, had played a bunch of video games and this one video game in particular that he was watching was um, a army recruiting video and it showed how to stop severe bleeding. He remembered that video game <laughs> and uh, he did what, what, what he remembered, and it turned out later that he saved that person's life. And the, the interesting part of the story is, is that, um, as you know, sometimes in Training for Warriors, we'll repeat a theme for a month, or we'll repeat um, uh, like the stories. And um, uh, there was a warrior in Training for Warriors uh, Concord who um, you know, was, was like listening to all these everyday hero stories and ended up saving somebody from a car accident. So um, again, it might be just as simple as walking by somebody and waving because you got your mask on. You know, it might be something as simple as, you know, just saying thanks to the clerk at the store, you know, trying to make somebody's day just a tiny little bit better. That's how we connect. That's how we become everyday heroes. And that's how we bring forth the warrior within. <laughs> All right. So, Josh has a, a Zoom meeting that he's doing at 11 a.m. today. Um, that is going to be about uh, with the program for next month. If you can't make it, that's fine. We'll have it on YouTube. We'll put, a, we'll put a, a post out there, a link out there. And then tonight, we're doing a Netflix party um, at 6 p.m. where we're going to be watching a couple episodes of The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. So if you've never seen that show, it's pretty intense. It's it's funny. It's really it's weird, but yeah, yeah. But it's really good. So we got those two things coming up today. Anyway, all right. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.